Now I've got a great wine for you that is really different than a lot of the Chardonnays you're gonna find in Virginia. This one is bourbon barrel aged. And because of that richness of the wine, I wanted to do something fun that's classic with Chardonnay, a shrimp scampi. But instead of just a butter-based shrimp scampi, we're gonna put a little cream in it to make a nice cream and Parmesan cheese sauce for it. So I have about three tablespoons of butter in my pan, and I'm gonna to add to that two pounds of peeled shrimp. Now, I like to take the tails off if I'm serving them to guests because it's just difficult to get around those tails. So two pounds of a nice large shrimp. You can use any size you like. We tend to like the big ones. Okay, get those in that hot butter. Now the key to these is just to get them color on both sides. We don't want to cook them all the way through because I'm going to create a sauce for them. And if you cook them all the way through and you're cooking the sauce, they tend to get really rubbery. So let's just give them a flip as they start to get pink. Another reason I like to use a large shrimp is because it takes far less time to flip them in the pan. You can imagine if you're using small shrimp, it just takes a while to get all of them flipped over and then they can overcook. Okay, they all have some color on them. And at this point, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic. Now I've finely minced this because I don't want to cook it very long. I just want to give it a little bit of a hit with that butter but not a lot of cooking. I want a lot of flavor and I definitely don't want it to start to brown. And next I'm gonna hit it with about a half cup of Chardonnay. Now let's sprinkle with some salt and pepper. Okay, let's give those a stir, and then we're gonna add a cup of half and half. Now, to make this shrimp, it's really important that you use half and half or a whipping cream. You don't want milk that's too thin because the flavor just isn't quite there. I tried it two or three times with different levels of milk, and it really only works with the cream and the half and half. So I'm using the half and half simply because I already put a lot of butter in there and I'm gonna finish it with some cheese. So I'm gonna simmer this for about a minute and while I do that, I'm going to cook some pasta which takes about two minutes, it's fresh linguine. And while that last minute is happening, let's just make sure everything is flipped over so that if there's any gray left on any shrimp, it has the opportunity to cook through. You don't want them overcooked, but you also don't want them undercooked. Now let's take about a half cup of Parmesan cheese, a nicely freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna put that in. Now I have about three quarters of a cup here because I wanna use a little bit of that on top as I finish. And I want to reduce my heat because I don't want that cheese to burn. Then let's snip some fresh parsley. And you can also chop this, but I'd just love to snip it right into the pan. It's just so fresh. And it doesn't look quite as bruised. Beautiful. Now don't rinse your pasta after you've cooked it and don't put oil in the pan when you are cooking it because the oil will just make it coated and then the starch doesn't have a chance to come out. And if you put cold water on it, then it doesn't accept the sauce. Oh, these are gonna be great. Make sure you get lots of that sauce with that cheese. Mmm, it's great. Now this cheese 
is not um, it's not curdled. It almost looks like the cream is curdled. That's actually just the cheese that hasn't completely melted. It's just fine. Okay, let's clean up that bowl. Snip a little bit more. And top with a little bit more cheese. And pour out some of this delicious wine. Mm. So good. And this incredible Chardonnay, it's bourbon, bourbon barrel aged, and it is wonderful. It's so rich, and it goes so well with the creaminess of this beautiful shrimp scampi. Mm.